Hello, I'm Mandy Schaller, Curator of Photography here at the National Motor Museum. The item I've decided to talk to you about is a small black and white print from the photographic collection. The image depicts a family enjoying a picnic sitting by their car. The inscription on the back of the print reads, The Minerva Car, Mother, Father, Governess Mrs Appleby, Charles and I, 1923. The photograph was probably taken by the chauffeur, who would have been employed not just to do the driving, but to maintain the car and fix the frequent punctures. Motoring was considered a luxury and a rich man's hobby in the 1920s and well out of the reach of most families. Today it is considered an everyday means of transport. Using a car to go to work or school, nowadays regarded as the norm compared to 100 years ago when very few families could afford the extravagance of a car. In 1923, when this photograph was taken, there were just over 389,000 cars on the road in the United Kingdom compared to over 32 million today. There were very few petrol stations back then and no motorways or service stations. The first petrol station in the United Kingdom was built in 1919. The reason I've chosen this rather modest picture for the 50th anniversary exhibition is because the family car has played a big part in people's lives throughout the history of motoring, particularly in relation to leisure time. Those of us who are fortunate enough to have had a family car may have memories of sim and similar pictures of holidays and picnics and recall trying to pack everything into the car, children getting bored on the journey and the excitement of visiting different surroundings. As leisure time increased and the motor vehicle became gradually more affordable, this opened up many possibilities of shared leisure time with family and friends.